Hurricane season is officially here tomorrow, so if you haven't already, now is the time to check your coverage and see if you have the protection you need. Now, the recent flooding here has some homeowners considering or being forced to buy flood insurance, even those who don't live in a flood zone. Cost is also a concern. Rising rates, drop policies, and insurers pulling out is adding up to real problems for many homeowners. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray has important information you need to know. Sheila and Olin Muir are just closed on their East Fort Lauderdale home. Minus windstorm, their property insurance bill is $4,500 a year. Sticker shock. Yeah. We were very surprised. Surprised because it's four times what they pay on their home in New England. The Muirs are part of the exploding state-backed citizens insurance pool that's predicted to reach 2 million policies this year as private insurers drop homeowners. And while citizens' rates are often lower than private companies, real estate agent Julie Laurie said property insurance is often a deal breaker. And sometimes those premiums are too high. So then it'll kind of knock that buyer out of their capabilities of being able to afford whatever mortgage they were originally pre-approved for. Do you worry it is going to get cost prohibitive eventually? I do because people like their incomes aren't raising. Living on the water used to be a homeowner's dream. Not anymore. Not with the cost of insurance. If they're uh, within two miles of the coastline. They're going to be paying between twelve and fifteen thousand dollars a year. If they are more than two miles from the coastline, you might be able to get a policy for under ten thousand. And that doesn't include flood insurance, which is also increasing. FEMA said in light of the devastating once in a thousand year flood that happened in April, we all should rethink our coverage. All of South Florida, you either live in a high risk flood zone or you live near one. And that's why it's important for everyone to have flood insurance in this part of the state. Citizens is starting to require policyholders to get flood insurance. This year, it's mandatory if you live in a flood zone. Out of a flood zone, it depends on your property value, and requirements are being phased in through 2027. Across the board, we're seeing 25 to 40 percent increases. With those kinds of property insurance jumps, Agent Steve Brooks said, look at your coverage levels, deductibles, and fortifying your home. If I had unexpectedly, I put a new roof on my home, and my insurance rate dropped 30 percent, which I did not expect. The Muirs are looking at getting impact windows and doors to reduce insurance costs by $1,200 a year. And that will reduce the cost down the road, but it's pretty significant to make that investment right at the front. Might decide that we don't want or can't afford to own a property given how expensive the insurance is. Private flood insurance is also an option. Look at your policy. Make sure you can't reduce coverage further. But for the short term, things are not getting any better. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.